Pediatric Advanced Life Support, or PALS, is crucial in emergency care for children. It focuses on life-threatening situations. Airway management is a fundamental aspect of PALS. Children often experience respiratory issues that require immediate attention. A blocked airway can quickly become life-threatening. PALS training equips healthcare providers with skills to manage pediatric airways effectively. It emphasizes quick assessment and appropriate interventions. Prompt action can be the difference between life and death in emergencies. Effective airway management ensures oxygen reaches the lungs and the body. This is essential for survival during emergencies. Every second counts when a child's airway is compromised. Opening a child's airway is often the first step in a respiratory emergency. Two basic maneuvers are used, the head tilt chin lift and the jaw thrust. The head tilt chin lift is suitable for most unconscious children. To perform this maneuver, gently tilt the child's head back with one hand, then lift the chin with the other hand. This opens the airway by moving the tongue away from the back of the throat. The jaw thrust is used when a neck injury is suspected. To perform the jaw thrust, kneel above the child's head. Place your fingers behind the angles of the jaw and lift the jaw upward. This maneuver opens the airway without moving the neck. Airway adjuncts are tools that help maintain an open airway. One commonly used adjunct is the oropharyngeal airway, or OPA. The OPA is a curved device inserted into the mouth to prevent the tongue from blocking the airway. Another adjunct is the nasopharyngeal airway, or NPA, a soft tube inserted into the nostril. The NPA is useful when the OPA is not tolerated or in children with a gag reflex. Bag valve mask ventilation is a crucial technique used to deliver breaths to a child who is not breathing adequately. A mask is placed over the child's mouth and nose, and the bag is squeezed to deliver air into the lungs. In certain situations, more advanced airway management techniques are necessary. Endotracheal intubation involves inserting a tube into the trachea to secure the airway. This procedure requires specialized training and is usually performed by experienced medical professionals. Complications can arise during airway management. Aspiration, or the inhalation of foreign material into the lungs, is a concern. Laryngospasm, a sudden constriction of the vocal cords, can also occur. Airway edema or swelling may develop after prolonged intubation or airway manipulation. Recognizing and managing these complications promptly is crucial to ensure the child's safety and well-being.